It's October 1969 and five twenty-something idealists have found themselves in a country divided during the Vietnam War. This is Days of Rage, the Irvin Hansen scribe Stephen Levinson's new play that shines a light on what happens when a collective of young people come together. We stop by the rehearsal room to chat with Levinson, director Trip Coleman, stars Mike Feist, Tavi Gevinson, and more about why Days of Rage resonates right now. Days of Rage is about a group of young people in the fall of 1969 uh, living in a tiny house in um, upstate New York um, trying to basically change the world. And then there are two people, including me, who are outsiders who become embroiled in this little world and kind of, and everyone changes. <laughs> It's at a time in America where people had to grow up quick, where these kids were literally, you know, sacrificing their lives, um, you know, for, ultimately we figured out for what reason. I love looking at this time period. I love the fact that it so effectively looks back at a specific moment in history um, in order to kind of wrestle with questions that are happening right now. My character struggles a lot with if she feels okay with the lengths that other people want to go to to create change. and So it, it really, it's not just a blanket message, it, it grapples with the dichotomy of it and I think that that's the conversation that we need to be having right now is that it's a complicated thing, it's not just black and white. Levinson garnered a 2017 Tony Award for penning that year's Best Musical winner, Dear Evan Hansen. The cast and creative team share why they love his work. Steven, of course, is a playwright that I will follow forever and ever. I was kind of telling people, if I do Steven Levinson plays at second stage, and that's the rest of my career, it's a very good career for me. I think, honestly, his dialogue is some of the coolest and most specific dialogue that I've ever read and then said as an actor. He really captures the way that young people talk. The cast it, it, are, are loving saying his words, and I'm loving directing his words. I think my job as a writer is, is mostly to ask questions and not to give answers and this play definitely does not give answers because I don't have them. Even if these movements in the 60s didn't succeed, do we actually have better answers today? Um, and if not, we really have to keep digging and keep asking ourselves these hard questions. Days of Rage may be set in 1969, but the ideals held by its 20-something characters don't seem far off today. I think th this show says that the youth of not only today but of 1969 we're extremely active and are extremely active when it comes to taking control of our own future. This show is about youthful idealism and it's also about people for whom idealism isn't an option. For these characters there's something about the energy of being young um, and the vibrancy and vitality and kind of exuberance of what it feels like to be young and alive and questioning everything and there's a freedom and a, and a kind of recklessness about these characters um, that I certainly don't have, but I'm very interested in exploring. There's a moment when we're young where we haven't, our, de our identities haven't sort of, sort of ossified yet or calcified yet. And so it's this beautiful moment of like tr trying on who we might be. And I, I find that sort of liminal moment to be deeply compelling. Days of Rage opens off Broadway at Second Stage's Tony Kaiser Theater on October 30th.